and this Wait, is they're returning the coffin top. again. Oh no, this is the past. In the distance, the final procession began. Hold up. Before the hearse, they watched the grenadier guards carry the queen's company color. Wait, wait, I actually, I don't know if I'm being confused right now, but did they already take the coffin and they lowered it? Then they, they took it back again? I don't know. Or is this just a clip that I didn't see from the start? Because that's super weird if they did that. Up towards the castle where she'd spent so much of her childhood. And as the procession swayed slowly towards the King George IV gate, there was a ripple of applause in its wake. Well, they really removed the coffin because it was it was going down. I swear it was going down, and now it's going back up. They brought it again. It was so sad that it was the final goodbye. I was happy that why aren't they asking any like all over the world to just witness her final goodbyes? And for me, that was, what can I say? It was very sad and emotional, but overwhelming at the same time. I think what was nice about it was the fact that everyone just went silent as the coffin came past. It was just the silence. It was just a mark of respect. I think that really moved me. Yeah, they're speechless. They don't know what to as say. The nurse entered the castle grounds. Ooh, this the place looks so the angelic. Pony Emma, one of her favorites, it said. And when there was Emma silence, looks sad too. Was arresting. And then into a chapel under whose tiles lie the remains of three centuries of monarchs, they carried the longest. Hold on, I could have sworn the coffin went down though, and the jewels were removed. So they there brought brought it back up and placed chapel, them again. Many of the members of the late queen's household, past and present. Being a royal uh, blood is crazy then. Everybody gets a fancy funeral. Wait, surrounded by his family the king would later place the queen's company color on her coffin moments before it was lowered into the vault wait totally unrelated again but notice how like it doesn't matter how how much hair the like the the royals have left they never shave bald because look look at the redhead prince his hair is slowly going away but he's never shaved Surrounded by his He's never shaved it off. The king would later place. And the then look at that guy too. He never coffee. shaved it off. Moments before it was and look at King the Charles. Box. He never shaved his off too. I think it's a royal thing to not cut off your hair or be like totally. The bald. first female sovereign buried here, and for many, the last they'll ever know. they sang God Save the King, outside, on the long walk, others joined in. For many, this day had been deeply affected. Oh, look at them. They're so sad. Then as dusk settled, quietly they began to head for home, some clearly thankful to have shared in the moment. Whilst inside the castle, the royal family prepared for one final private service. Oh, wow. That, that, is, that is pretty heavy. Heavy. I feel like whew, I just I'm just breathing out because I don't know I really don't know what to say. It's like the mo because well, when I I'm kind of late on reacting to this too. But when I first heard that she passed away, I was coming from school. I was coming from school. I saw on the phone it said. No, 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 somebody was, somebody texted me, someone uh, from England or whatever. They're like, oh, the queen is feeling sick or whatever. And then a few hours later, they're like, yeah, the queen just passed away. And I'm like, I was like, oh, really? And then I, I check on, I go to Google. I'm like, is the queen dead? Because I, 
I told somebody from the UK, I'm like, yo, the queen just died. The guy was like, nah, bro, the queen, the queen didn't die. I don't know what you're talking about. Then I go on Google, I'm like, yo, is the queen dead? And then it just shows like 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, oh, Queen Elizabeth has passed away. And I was like, damn, like, that's really it. And bro, all this stuff really is like, that's so much. Like you saw all those fancy jewels and crowns. Ah, <sighs> man, uh, just hopefully she's in heaven. That's all I'm gonna say. But a lot of a lot of stuff. I'm like, that's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Really, I don't know how to say this in a in a way that sounds respectful. Like, all of us are gonna die someday, obviously. And like, cause like someone who's buried in that much jewels with like all the presidents of the world they come look at you and they're like they they send you off with rips and then someone who's like from like a village has not no one it just just dies they put him in a mat they bury them they die both of them that's just so like that's something to think about it's just like she left all those, like, everything. Man, death is so fair, but, ah, it's so hard, man. I can't even wrap my head around it. But yeah, I guess you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you, and have a nice day.